In this question, we're asked to find the value of y between the points 2 comma y and 5 comma negative 1 so that the slope is negative 3. So essentially, what value of y here would give us a slope of negative 3 if the line were to pass through these two points, 2 comma y and 5 comma negative 1? With this, we can do the typical assignment as we normally do. We can assign 2 comma y to be our first point and 5 comma negative 1 to be the second point. Remember that the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now here, we're playing detective. We're trying to find a value of y using the other coordinates that were given and the slope that were given. Under normal circumstances or in other questions that we've done in the past, we were always given the y-coordinates for the numerator and the x-coordinates for the denominator. And then we had to find the slope. In this case, the slope is given to us, but one of the coordinates is held back. This is just an equation that we need to solve for y. If we do that, we'll have solved the question. So we first simplify the denominator. 5 minus 2 gives us 3. At this stage, in order to get y by itself, I can multiply this 3 that's being divided on the right-hand side over to the other side. Or, alternatively, I could have multiplied both sides by 3. It does the same thing. So negative 3 times 3 now equals negative 1 minus y. This can be simplified into negative 9 from negative 3 times 3 equals negative 1 minus y. That stays the same on the right-hand side. Now remember, we're still trying to solve for y, so I need to get rid of this negative 1 next. Because the 1 is being subtracted, when I move it over to the other side, I'm going to have to add it. So this gives us negative 9 plus 1 equals negative y, which can be simplified to negative 8 equals negative y. At this stage, we have a couple of different ways of getting to the answer. We can either multiply both sides by a negative 1, so that would make the negative 1 times the negative 8 a positive 8, and the negative y times the negative 1 would give us positive y. Or we could divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. That'll give us the same expression. A third way of thinking about this is to swap the locations. So if we were to move this negative 8 to the right-hand side and this negative y to the left-hand side, the opposite operations will happen. The negative will turn into a positive when it moves over, and the negative y when it moves over would become positive. So what this means is, if the value of y is 8, then the slope of the line 2, 8 and 5, negative 1 will be negative 3. 